Today's Impact Stories will delve into the journeys of our immigrant guests with inspirational immigrants. And we're going to have a chat right now with a young man called Nathaniel Kweko, a Ghanaian-American actor, storyteller, and graduate of USA's Marshall School of Business and School Cinematic Arts. He's done so much work, voiceovers for McDonald's, Nike, True TV, ABC Family, and has also appeared on TV shows on Lifetime, VH1, and also Fox's Rosewood. Rosewood, TV Lands, Lopez, and CBS's Pure Genius and SWAT. It goes on and on and on. He is so prolific. So let's turn to Nathaniel and he'll tell us more about what he's done. There's so much you've done. <laughs> you so said, welcome to the show. You. you said young and I'm like, I don't know how young well, I am. I'm youngish. But well, you're youngish, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome yeah, to the show and welcome, welcome to Impact. Thank you. How have you been? I am well. It's, uh, you know, we're coming up on the end of the year and yes. it's been a full year. I know. Definitely full. Yes, so tell us, you know, we want to know, why did you come to the U.S. and how have you been able to adapt sure. to the new environment? I was actually, I actually didn't have a choice. I was born here. Oh, um, you were? <laughs> I was born in Bakersfield, but my parents are from Ghana. Okay, your so, parents are yeah, from Ghana. Yeah, I grew up going back to Ghana every two, three years. And yes. My mom was very intentional, so, and I even went to mm -hmm. school um, yes. at the University of Ghana, Legon for uh, a semester. That's wonderful. College. But I like the way you capture yourself as Ghanaian, American. American. Yeah. That's yeah. good. It's always, I mean, it, for me, it's intentional because when I was younger, mm -hmm. that was not the case. Correct. That was definitely you feel, not the case. How did you feel when you were younger? I mean, I think I identified, but the thing is when you're younger, you're always trying to assimilate, to fit in. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I was actually just trying to be black American. Correct. And there were so many, you know, cultural nuances, you know, and things that growing up being African that you just didn't know. Like I had never had grits. I, you know, I hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't seen Friday. And like these were things that kids talked about in school. And yes. I, I just, because at home we African parents are giving you African food. Right. I, it's like I grew up in Africa. Yes. But then when I went outside, yes. I was American. <laughs> Correct. So. You know, that is true mm -hmm. to many, many, you know, immigrant families. So, you know, I mean, you're Ghanaian American. And so, you know, this It's said that African immigrants are very hardworking and, you know, very ambitious. Why do you think that's the case? Uh, I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes. But I, I think part of it has to do with you recognize, you know, the opportunities that exist back in the continent and a lot of times they just pale in comparison so when it's yeah. when you get here you don't take it for granted that know? is true and then you also have parents who will make sure still, you don't take it for I'm granted. i'm just sorry you know african parents will crack <laughs> oh lord i got <laughs> they'll, get, they'll get you 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 get yourself i got scars <laughs> oh please Pamela. don't say that on air <laughs> i want nobody coming for your parents you're too old now hey, but man. who knows i'm out of the house <laughs> exactly hey if this is your first time visiting team tv channel Make sure you hit the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we post new content. So let's talk about your entertainment sure. you know, career. Yeah. I mean, the, the entertainment world is an ultra competitive industry, especially here in Hollywood yeah. where you are. And as a matter of fact, you just came from a callback. I literally came Typical from Hollywood back. experience. He just walked oh in from goodness, a callback. No. Okay. <laughs> so how have you been able to craft your own path? You know, it's yeah. it's definitely had its challenges. But when I, I think, I mean, when I was 16, I started taking acting classes. And, okay. you know, when I was looking for colleges, I was very intentional about looking for a school that would allow me to also pursue the industry at the same mm -hmm. time. So, I mean, USC, I actually started off at UC Riverside and then I transferred to USC. Right. Um, but still within the Southern California area. So mm -hmm. as soon as I started college, I was taking classes and right. I was auditioning mm -hmm. and it's really been a learning curve you mm -hmm. know it's I mean I've been in the industry for about 10 11 years Amazing. and I feel like in the last like three years I've really learned so you're much you're one of those unsung heroes <laughs> I, mean, I mean as a filmmaker you've done some amazing work yeah. including commercials like we said you know you know one that stands out for me is your personal work um, growing up immigrant yeah what was your inspiration because now I know <sighs> that <laughs> you are Ghanaian American. Yeah. You were born here, yeah. not Ghanaian American, as I was born in Ghana. Yeah. What was your inspiration? Man. Um, <laughs> so we talking about scars and wounds and horror stories. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I grew up around very strong African women. When I would go back to Ghana, it was with my aunts, or even here in yes. the states, and my mom. Ooh. 
Lord. Um, <laughs> but it's just I was always exposed to that. And I think that affected, you know, my upbringing and really kind of yes. um, shifted my perspective. And so I really wanted to paint a picture of what it's like to grow up first generation, because it's like, are you African? Are right. you American? And how does your identity affect the choices that you make? Yes, that is very interesting, because that's a question that our kids who are born here have to identify mm -hmm. are they fully American as in their grandparents mm -hmm. right like, like you said first generation yeah. American mm -hmm. you know so it's growing up immigrant what's the whole perspective of it sure what was it focused on so it's centered on a character named Nicholas um, mm -hmm. who I I play I also um, well, I directed the series I wrote it um, executive produced it mm -hmm. um, a minute so a lot of work and I had a, a great team as well yes um, but it's really about Nicholas, and he's adjusting to living with uh, Auntie Mama, played by the wonderful Kuyo Graham. Yes, um, and I know Akuyo. She's yeah, amazing. She is so talented. Yes. Um, so he's adjusting to life with her while trying to navigate mm -hmm. his romantic life, trying to navigate his career. And, um, you know, the arc of the, of the first season is really about, um, it starts off very comedic, mm -hmm. and then towards the end we actually see how an immigrant community, an African immigrant community, deals with death. Um, and mm -hmm. that was actually taken from my experience. You know, I yes. had a cousin who was shot, and it was very mm -hmm. different. You know, we, we, he, we see these stories yes. of young African-American men getting yes. shot. But what, was, what it is it like for an African a family, family to, to go that. through it? I always wonder about that. And yeah. It's not something I, I relish. I'm not, not looking forward right. to anything like that. Exactly. You know, um, so is your show streaming on yeah, How can we yeah. Find so it? my show is streaming on YouTube. You can just type in "Growing Up Immigrant." Mm -hmm. We're in talks about yes. season two and looking for the right, um, you know, uh, uh, production company to come on board. Yes. So, yeah. Do you like the fact that you are shaping, you are telling your own story, your narrative, you're shaping the yeah. conversation as opposed to someone else telling your story? Right? Yeah, definitely. So I, I literally, when I got the call, the callback I just had was mm -hmm. um, for, <laughs> it was for an African um, warlord, yes. right? So it's like a lot of times we only see these, you know, Beast of No Nation, Hotel Rwanda, Last King of Scotland, oh, Blood yes. Diamond stories. Yes. And mm -hmm. the reality is when I go back to Ghana, it's not like that. Not at all. It, I mean, it exists. Of Don't course. get me wrong, but it's not the only story. That's true. So for me, it's like, unless I tell these stories, yes. no, it, it's not yeah. going to change. You're right. You just got call, a call back to play a warlord. Yeah. But now when you're telling your own story, <laughs> you're telling the romantic story. Yeah. You're telling the story of the aunties and the uncles. Mm. Yeah. You're telling the story of growing up. The, the chill things that we yeah. also do. Like, we yeah. are not just one thing. Yeah. Gangsters and... Uh, yeah warriors and oh what not yeah i mean you it's know? but we're, we are so multi yeah we're, exactly exactly yeah. that's so awesome thank you thank you so much for sharing your ah, inspiring story thank and, you for and wisdom and we wish you the best thank you pamela oh you're amazing and this is impact on kpfk 90.7 fm where immigrants and americans discuss america today i'm pamela and chang thanks for watching today's video for more team tv videos about immigrant lifestyles Click on the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new content. We upload new content every single week. See you next time on Team TV.